he was a good baby, very, very happy. He liked to be around people. He liked to smile a lot. He was, uh, just his look. He was kind of an inquisitive little uh, baby. If you're having a bad day, and if I think about Jeremiah, it just makes me smile. When Jeremiah was born, they said he had a heart murmur. But I guess a lot of babies have that when they're first born, so. but his wasn't going away. And they told us he had this pulmonary stenosis of the arteries. And he started having uh, what's called gastrointestinal reflux. They recommended that he have a feeding tube put in. Um, after the surgery, everything was fine, but a few hours later, basically he had had a heart attack. He was in a, a coma for quite a few days. And they stabilized him, and then after a while, we thought everything was okay enough to go home to change your clothes. We had been there for days and days. When we got home, then um, I was outside, and then my wife got a call from the nurse saying the doctor wanted to talk to her. And it was the cardiologist, and he said, Miss Bailey, you need to get back to the hospital right away. Your son, Jeremiah, he's not gonna make it. I felt guilty because I had left the hospital. I should have been at the hospital with Jeremiah. And I wasn't. So we rushed back to the hospital. What had happened is he had had a heart attack. They had the defibrillator machine in his room, and she told us the doctor shocked him. I think it was like 14 times. And she said she never seen a doctor. <laughs> she said she never seen a doctor do that to a baby before. This is why he was apologizing to us, because he didn't know what that was going to do to Jeremiah. Then he said he had to make the decision to give Jeremiah an adult heart medicine that they don't use on babies because they don't know what the dose would be to give him. And he said he knew it was either going to bring Jeremiah back or it was going to kill him. It's probably another week that gone by. He's still in a coma. We just had to watch. At one point, they wanted to put in a particular type of electrodes. And they said that he's probably gonna have another heart attack. And this one, he probably will not survive another one. At that moment, I just couldn't take it. I didn't wanna to talk to anybody. I didn't wanna to talk to my husband or my sisters or relatives. I walked out, walked into the waiting room. I had nowhere to go but a chair. And I just dropped to my knees. I just started to, I started to pray. I was just very quiet. I said, thank you, Lord, for the seven months of life that I have with this baby. If you decide to take him, can you please give me the strength? to get through it because I'm his mom. And all of a sudden, I just felt peace. You know, I, I looked up at the clock, it was about nine o'clock, and a few hours later, the nurse came out and said that we could go back and see Jeremiah. And I said, what'd you do? He looked so peaceful, and the nurse said, I know. We put the electrodes in. I, I still didn't really understand what the electrodes were doing, and she said, they just let us know when this heart attack is going to occur. She said he had been having heart arrhythmias up until we put the electrodes in. And I looked at her, I said, what time did you put the electrodes in? And she said, 9 p.m. <laughs> it was the same moment when I felt that rush of peace. And he seemed to be happy, even from that point there. Before we brought him home, he had a smile on his face still. It was very difficult over the next few years. He had to see the cardiologist all the time. He did have to stay on all those medications and that is what kept his heart going. That's where I think the research comes in. Through the American Heart Association would help where he wouldn't have to maybe have another heart surgery. The next one might be the last one that he has to have. Because of the research that the American Heart Association funds, Jeremiah, he can be the little boy he is today. He can run, he can jump. He can roller skate, which is his favorite activity, and he couldn't do that before. Without Jeremiah, our family wouldn't be the same. He's a very important uh, role in this family, so and if we lost him, it would, be, it would be a devastating loss for us. In the future, he still might have to go through it. I want him to, to know that he can get through it because he's, he's just surrounded by, by love. Like I said, that's his character. It's a, it's a good character to have. <laughs>